looks like the LED lights have come in, or fog lights. Uh, cost me a whopping $29. It's called Z Zoom Moon? Z Moon LED Driving Spotlights. That's basically the box. Made in China. Surprise, surprise. There's your specs. Uh, 60 watt output, 6,000 LM lumens. Uh, lifespan is 50,000 hours. Um, voltage is 9 to 30 volts. <clears throat> I think my other one ha uh, is running on 12 volts, so I, I think we just basically wire this into the other wiring harness. Uh, color temperature is 6,000K. Uh, white light. And then you got the 300K for the amber. Uh, operating temperature is 40 to 185 Fahrenheit. So, I don't know. There's a user manual. Uh, you get free Allen key, a couple of bolts, overkill on the bolts. Some flimsy brackets that are actually flimsier than the bolts. It's kind of funny. The packaging is kind of weird. You think they would have foam or something in there, but they don't. The shell is aluminum. The ring that holds the reflector in is aluminum. And apparently there's a little fan in there, which I can see. Which, I'm kind of curious to take this apart. I'm kind of curious to see how they got that watertight. Uh, or if it's going to be one of those situations you get stuck in the rain and it fails. And once it fails, I mean, there's not enough here to cool this light. So that's got to be working. Let's see if I can pull it apart. The lens is got a rubber washer. It is plastic. Whoop! It's scratch plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. So that'll scratch. There's your LED. Nothing too spectacular there. Um, there's two screws holding it down. Oh, really shoddy soldering on that. Kind of curious if it even has some putty on the back or uh, um, heatsink paste. Because if it doesn't, I usually I add it. So let's uh, go get a screwdriver and uh, pull this sucker apart. Okay, let's see a little bit better lighting here for you guys. Try that. Now, I don't know how easy it is to pull this apart. Obviously, I might have to desolder it just to get it out. Uh, I don't see any heat paste underneath it. So you probably would want to do that. You'd be surprised how many lights I get off of Amazon they are like that. You know, a nice fancy aluminum case and no way to transfer the heat. Yeah, I don't think that's going to come apart that easy. Let's try taking this apart. At least they're aluminum. I swear these will be plastic because they put the fan in it. Here's an idea, guys. Design it with actual fins here, 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 and here, and then you wouldn't have to put a damn fan in it. Like I can tell you right now, there's no way they potted this fan. It's probably just a standard fan that will fail the minute it gets wet. How easy it's going to be to get this sucker out. Oh, ripping something. Oh, there we go. Well, that's interesting. Well, what else we got in there? Oh, this. Okay, we got to the LED board itself. That's the uh, inverter, basically, because it's uh, it'll do like what? What did it say? Um. Specs on it were 9 to 30 volts. So that's your DC inverter there. It's got a bunch of goop in there, which we'll have to scoop out. Uh, yeah, it's not watertight. See that? 
the board's right there. And I can see an IC sticking out and we had to quick look at it. Yeah, man, there's nothing, there's nothing that says watertight there. Yeah, if you get any water in that fan, it'll fail. And it'll be just uh, depending on this heat sink to, to cool it off, which will shorten its life, unfortunately. That's a stupid design. But for an e-bike, it's fine. I, I could care less. Um, I go through them. I usually change them out every year anyway. So we won't touch it. Um, I'm not even going to bother taking that out and uh, heat sinking it. Because I know, or uh, greasing it up. I'll have to desolder it here and here. And then pull this out. And uh, I can't be bothered. Because the price. Let's just shoot them on the bike. And uh, see, see how well they work. What I'll do is I'll take them downstairs and we'll uh, put them on the bench power supply and just get a general idea what they're going to look like. And tonight I'll uh, do a quick review outside with the ones I have installed now. And, uh, and these ones here. All right, give me a chance to get this back together. Test will be better off outside, but I figured we'd do a quick test on the on the power supply. I'll kill some lights, and uh, we'll just see how it shines on the floor. <clears throat> uh, well, this is the one I have now. I've had it for about a year. It's not bad. It's not the brightest, but it works. I think what we'll do is we'll hook this one up first and show you on the floor how well it uh, lights up the floor. So that's basically what I got now, which isn't bad. Uh, it's not as bright when you're on the road. It looks much brighter down here. So let's try the new one out. Oh, I really prefer this one over the other one. It's more of, it's more of a square light. Um, which will actually just get the area that you want to light up instead of like the other ones was wasn't as controlled. So like if you had it up too high, uh, drivers drivers would honk at you. This one is perfect, and that little fan's going. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it's flying away. Um, let's see what it looks like with the yellow. This is the yellow. Uh, I wouldn't say it's brighter, but uh, it's definitely cool. I like yellow. Freaking bright though. Whew. That's 60 watts, that's for sure. I'm gonna try both of them and see what it's like. And this is with both. This is really bright. Listen to that fan. At least you know when the fan's going. <laughs> uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, wait until uh, it gets dark out and we'll try it outside. Just like on the specs, it uh, does draw about uh, a little over an amp, which is respectable. I'm going to let it run for five minutes to see how hot it gets. Yeah, it just gets lukewarm. Even if that fan does fail, I don't think it's going to get hot enough that it's going to damage it at all. Um, one thing I do like is the format, the size. It's very small on the bike. Uh, it, won't like, it won't look totally geeky, you know what I mean? Uh, versus some big whopping one like that. Um, it also throws enough light that I could get away with just using one, which I probably will do. And so I use two of them, that's two amps being pulled from my battery constantly, which will uh, shorten my ride. This will be perfect. But uh, we'll try it outside before I make up my mind and uh, figure out how I'm going to install it. Okay, sorry about the crudeness of the test. This is basically what I'm using now. It takes up about a lane. It uh, actually looks much brighter on the camera than it really is, which isn't too bad. So let's try the other one. Damn, that's bright. I think if you look at it from the side, you can see the uh, mist in the air. But uh, that's more focused. I like that. More narrow beam. That's where it's at. Let's try a yellow and see what it looks like. Here's the yellow. <laughs> kind of like the yellow better.
definitely better light and being smaller is a bit of a bonus. I don't think you would need two of them, but uh, we'll try it anyway. <laughs> 